was home sweet home and it says life changed little through the decades as people dealt with daily struggles excessive heat and illness were all too common but the settlers preserved neighbors helped neighbors with planting and harvesting and building if there was a serious injury or emergency residents had to travel to a nearby community for help homes were built of adobe and later stone or wood brought from southern utah and were decorated with handcrafted gables surrounded by hedges and cottonwood and other shade trees st thomas was a peaceful little town food storage was difficult in the desert a desert cooler illustrated below Illustrated below consisted of a wooden box draped in a wet burlap. Ice arrived in 1912 aboard refrigerated rail cars, and the and the community welcomed the use of ice boxes. And then it says, uh, my family told of how difficult it was to sleep at night in the summer. And so richer people had a second story with a balcony where people could sleep as they could catch a breeze. On the bottom floor, it was much hotter to sleep at night. They would have a bucket of water by their bed and they would wet a sheet and sleep with their, that over them. When the sheet dried out and it got too hot, they would wake up and get the sheet wet again in order to fall back to sleep. Elsie McAllister. How would you have coped without electric lights, air conditioning, and running water? Please leave comments in the comment section below. And here is, I guess that's another, another house. They had three dogs, beautiful dog nice family okay let's see we're gonna go on to the next structure over here well there's still steps on it I'm trying to do this as smooth as I can but Look at this. I wonder what this structure was. See the steps? Look how big it was. It's a pretty good size. I have to go back and look at that map, maybe. You could tell. smooth that so that work on the outside or plaster or whatever that is and it lasted through all the water well here's some more buried cement look at that lasted through all of that all of that time of water Here's another one of those tree stumps. what this was. I'm surprised there's not a thing a thing here saying what it is. Sorry I'm trying to learn to speak up because I have some subscribers who have a hard time hearing me so if it's too loud for some of you please just uh, turn the volume down a little bit. I'm gonna try to keep speaking up but it's hard for me to do that. I'm 
gonna practice at doing that so that all my subscribers can enjoy the videos because those of us that can hear fine we can always turn it down but those that can't hear fine they can only turn it up so loud so we're gonna try to speak up I'm sorry I I'm not real good at that but I will keep practicing and we will get better so that everyone can enjoy these videos and the history of these old almost forgotten places thank goodness that they've preserved this Look at this line of trees all the way down for quite a ways. See, there is a storyboard over here. Ooh, that's a big pile of dew. <laughs> Let's see. You can see the you can see the foundation way over here. Looks like it was quite, quite a large building. Look at that stone foundation there. It goes all the way back. And then there's Tinkerbell with her little Christmas sweater. Okay. Let's see, what is this? All right, using picks, shovels, and scrapers, the Mormon settlers built an irrigation system from the Muddy River to their fields and orchards. By 1869, the system had been extended upriver to provide the town with a more dependable water source. The ditches and concrete lined canals wound through the town, bringing water to the community. Located throughout town, Cisterns allowed people to draw buckets of water for their daily use. Each held a several months supply of water which was filtered through charcoal and sand. The smallest member of a family was lowered into the cistern once a year to scrub the walls. Today the cisterns, some up to 18 feet deep, are covered with iron grates for safety reasons. So that's what that one was, was a cistern. Let's see here. Children playing in the water while parents worked nearby. That's cool. Maintaining the irrigation system to St. Thomas. And this here is the artist's rendering of a typical water regulator overlaid on a concrete head gate structure found at St. Thomas. It says, we dipped our water up with a bucket out of the ditch and put it into big iron barrels. Then we'd put ashes in to soften the water. No matter how wryly muddy the water was, it was no time till it became quite clear. Huh, that's interesting. And there's a lady getting her water to carry back home. See how muddy her shoes are? Okay, so that's what this is over here. This is another cistern, like the other one. Oh, this one is it's a little different. Let me see if I can see. Yeah, we put the night vision on. Hello, hello. <laughs> okay. So, all right, it looks like we're going to be, that was that place right there. There's, you can see the little foundation. And these are the trees that they had along the road. So the road went right by these. Okay, I'm going to turn it off till we get to the next one. And then I'll turn it back on.